then. This is uh, my attempt to convert this old radio radiovac fluorescent light to a to LEDs uh, using 1156 12 volt LEDs um, like you would use in a car. I've already started working on it. Um, one of the things I did was I figured out how to get this Rayovac apart and the way you do that is when you take this bottom piece off goes on here and you remove the circuit board there is <clears throat> a metal piece that's part of the latch you remove that and that removes a long screw that goes through here up to the top and once you do that then this pops off this and this are together. Uh, you can remove this. There are two screws underneath this piece of metal, this reflector, and then that allows you to take the top off. Um, what I've done already is I have drilled out the holes for the light sockets and wired them or uh, riveted them in place and wired them for power and now I can uh, close these close this part up got all these extra parts in here and so what I'm going to do is uh, put this together I'm going to put the top on and uh, get the reflectors everything cleaned and pretty much all of this back together except for the wiring that I'm going to use to you know power the bulbs um, oh one other thing I had to drill a couple of holes there's about halfway down in here there's a, a piece of plastic with one hole through it for the bolt and I had to carefully drill two other holes for a piece of wire to go up the center and then I had to drill uh, wires or uh, holes going through this piece of plastic. Um, it's done so that the I'm going to try to put the shield in place, the one that moves the reflectors back and forth. If I can use that, I will. If not, oh well. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. We'll come back when I've got most of this together. That that was not easy. Um, the major problem was getting the lines in here connected and working because once you put these pieces together you can't really get in here to touch anything so I used a combination of percussive maintenance and a small screwdriver to guide these plastic 
pieces into the holes and then once I got it close enough put this piece back on and the screw in um, so it's back together and the next thing to do is we're going to uh, put in the circuitry to control it uh, it's going to have variable brightness and an on off switch I took one of these uh, little buck converters and removed the tiny little pot and replaced it with a, a normal sized one and uh, we'll see what happens here. So um, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I've ripped all the guts out of this all the uh, pieces of metal, all the pieces of brass so that I can mount electronics to it if I need it um, or not and so the next step is uh, I've got to put um, got to mount all this power voltage controls and everything in here in this in the bottom and then get it together see if it works alrighty then oh all right so um, currently got everything wired up uh, pots installed unfortunately I didn't really measure well and I had to turn my power button sideways uh, but anyways uh, so if we turn it on and currently I've got it set for 8 volts and if we turn this pot and we go up to that's 10 volts and that's 12 and technically we could take this up to probably 13 nope. 12 volts is it huh I wonder if there's uh, something limiting the voltage in the uh, in those LEDs or in those light bulbs that is bright uh, and if we turn it down that's 8 volts and that's about as low as I can go with before they, they get really dim so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install I have a uh, I have this and I'm just going to install it with a couple of stops to prevent the voltage from being raised too high and too low And that's it. It'll be done. I got to put it. I mean, put it back together and all. So, back in a minute or two. Alrighty then. She's all put back together. And uh, basically, that's the uh, low setting, which looks quite a bit brighter in the camera than it does in person. Um, I've turned out all the lights and it provides a, I don't know, um, pretty nice amount of light for 
what it is. Now we'll turn it all the way up. And I would say, uh, based on other another LED lantern I have, that this is probably the equivalent of a 25 watt, maybe a 40 watt bulb at the most. Um, bright enough. How many lumens? I don't know. If I can look them up, I'll put them in the uh, description or in the, the subtitle. Uh, so that's it. It's adjustable. I can make it directional or omnidirectional. Later.